Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to do a review on the new Grip Equipment AX5. So I hope you enjoy and let's get into it. This bag is absolutely beautiful. I love the new colors for this bag. Um, as you may know, this bag is very, very similar to the AX4 that was last year's model, uh, but the new colors are this color and another red. Uh, but I absolutely love this blue. Uh, we're gonna start with the exterior of the bag and then we're gonna go into the interior. So first, we're gonna go on to this side. Um, each side has a small pocket with a pencil pocket. Uh, where you can fit, I wouldn't suggest a Sharpie because it's gonna fall out, uh, but I wanna show you that there is a pocket there. So a pencil can fit inside there, uh, and then you have a small pocket for either a whale sack, a sports sack, or a mini. Um, so that's, on this side, it's the same thing on this side, but I carry my mini in this pocket. Um, and then on either side is also these pockets inside here. They're very large. They go all the way down to the bottom of the bag, uh, and they're also expandable. So you open this zipper, and it goes all the way down and gives you a little bit more space. Um, in years past, with my BX2 last year, um, I kept my Rainfly and my jacket for when it got cold, um, and it, there's just so much added space on the side of these pockets, not even using uh, the expandable zipper. Then we're going to go a little bit farther back, and here we're going to. Here you can see that there is a uh, an umbrella holder. You can put your umbrella in here. It zip ties um, so that it will not fall out, and then it velcros back in, so you cannot see it as much. There are also two water bottle holders. Very very helpful for uh, the heat, but also just to have some extra drink just in case. Um, same thing on the other side, uh, but there's no umbrella. There are these two pocket, the, these two uh, keychain um, links on either side. Uh, they are awesome if you have a tag or if you uh, want to put your keys on them with a carabiner. Very, very helpful. Uh, I've noticed that with other bags, they don't have a lot of places to hold stuff like that. So uh, having these just as free places to put them is very easy. Um, also on the back are these nice uh, breathable straps. Um, this is very, very similar to the BX2, which I will show you comparison to later, but uh, the very breathable material. Uh, you won't sweat as much, and there's these three pockets for your back also. Uh, there's also a small pocket in here just for anything that you want to keep. Um, anything that's, you know, your phone or something that you don't want uh, out in the open. Uh, yeah, and these, this is very, very strong, so you'll be able to pick it up and it won't rip. So let's go to the front of the bag. We'll start with this top pocket. This top pocket has, is, fits three putters, and with those three putters, you can stick it in and it, there's a ton of room up there. Uh, very much like the BX2 that I ha will show you, but instead of this, um, this flap here, it was more of a zipper that you opened. And so I love the addition of this to this bag. Um, there's lots of room. I can fit four of my putters in there, but this top flap won't close as easy. So I usually try and fit three in here and it fits nice. Now the good thing is also that if you reach up inside here, uh, there's also a pull string so that you can raise how high your putters are inside your bag. Very, very helpful. That's uh, very key with grip. They like to have it very customizable. Um, so then we're gonna get to this pow this um, Velcro section. Comes with this uh, very nice uh, patch. I absolutely love this. And it's, it's very customizable, as I said before. Then you have this pocket. This small pocket, it's not very big. It's, it has um, one little keychain um, link on it so that you can put your keys on there just in case. I also have my 
um, Bushnell rangefinder in there because it will not get lost if I put it in this. It could, so I keep that in there. And also, you can put your uh, money or any uh, phone or anything you have in there just so that it doesn't get lost in these two big pockets with anything else you might carry. Uh, next is this this flap. This flap um, is it can hold one disc. It's a little tight in the beginning, but it can hold one disc. And um, yeah, it just attaches up inside there, just like that, and you can keep it down. Or you can keep it down like that so your discs won't get wet in any rain. But I'm gonna take this out real quick and show you the inside. So the inside I have right now, I have 18, 19 discs in here, uh, but I also carry three, three putters and three mid-range. Now that's a lot. If I didn't carry as much, I would definitely be able to fit more because mid-range and putters are a little thicker than dr uh, drivers. So um, let me take these out and I will show you the inside. All right, so I emptied the bag, the inside, uh, and here you can see this pull tab for the putter pocket. If I move it up, it, the putters move up, and if I move it down, the putters go down. So you can change the uh, how high you would like your putters to stick out of your bag. Um, also, in here are these two little flaps with Velcro. They um, hold the, there's flaps that go in the inside so that the bag stays upright. That's very key. When you get your bag, um, they will be bent in this way. So you will have to try and bend them out a little bit, but your discs will do that on their own. So you'll be able to fit more if you bend them out slightly than if you keep them bent and don't hold as many discs inside. Um, another key thing in here is the bottom. The bottom does have a piece of fabric just in case um, you get uh, grass or anything inside. Uh, that was something I had uh, problems with with other bags is that you really had to turn the bag upside down to get all that out. But with this, you have a piece of fabric in there so that you can take the grass or anything else out. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about is the bottom. This is Grip Equipment Signature uh, Base. Uh, they have two bars that keep it upright and this is absolutely the, the best. Um, I've had other bags that you put them down and they flop over or you put them down and they'll fall straight like up and down. And I really like the bag with the discs inside. It will not fall over. It will just, it'll stay upright. Um, and so I definitely give this bag a 10 out of 10 because of the color because of the amount of discs it holds and because of its overall uh, great quality. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now I will show you the comparison from the BX2 last year and this AX5. So this isn't the best comparison because the BX2 is the smaller version of the AX4 of last year's versions, but this AX5 um, is the bigger version of the BX3 that they came out with this year but I only had these two bags to compare. So I'm going to do a general comparison, not about size, but about the differences of them. Um, so I already talked about this bag. Let me show you a little bit of um, the differences between this bag. Now I did do a video on this BX2 that it will be in the card above if you wanna check that out. But basically, other than it not holding as many discs, this pocket isn't big enough to hold a, a full disc. So you can use a bigger mini and put it in there, but there's also two pockets. There's one here and one here, so you could put two minis or a scorecard or something like that. Uh, this pocket is a little larger than that, but that's because it has a few pockets inside that will you can put your wallet or a mask inside. Um, again, I was talking about how this pouch up here doesn't have that that fold; uh, it more or less just gets out of the way, which. I don't exactly prefer, I would much prefer the AX5, but as my first grip bag, I absolutely love this bag. So if you wanna check out more details about this bag, you can visit the card above. And But other than that, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video of the review of the AX5. Um, I really, really look forward to using this in tournaments and maybe to put it in my cart, but I absolutely love it. and. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.